<laughs> yeah, I still, you know, on that whole Mannix thing, there's a couple of real assholes, these right wingers who made a couple of videos. So I gotta nail them tomorrow morning if I can get up. Yeah, I love their yeah. comments. You're taking money from innocent people who aren't trying to struggle. Well, you're using the fucking roads that, that is paid with that fucking money. You're using the infrastructure that's paid with that money. You're a fucking hypocrite if you think that. Well, the whole idea is you're stealing the money they earned. You know, they use those two words. And you're like, fuck you. How, how clear could I fucking make the video, right? I mean, I'm talking about taxing the motherfuckers who didn't earn it, you asshole. And you can't call falling out of a pussy earning it. I mean, that's bullshit. <laughs> you know, so let's just deal with the first issue first, which is the dumbass idea that you're going to inherit a life and then say you earned it. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, go to fucking shit hell for that. Also, it's quite staggering how many people don't know the fucking definition of the word fair. Yeah, well, it's just so stupid. It's like, it's like somebody saying, I didn't get hit by a meteor. I earned it. <laughs> you know, like, what the hell is that fucking shit? You know, well, I didn't get hit by a car. I earned it. <laughs> yeah, I earned that not happen. You know, I mean, fuck you. Yeah, I saw all your comments, and I feel bad for you because you're all that commenting and talking. You're like, well, what's the fucking goddamn point? You're talking to her. She's got her little bigotry, and that's it. You know, she's. Brett King filed DMCA against me! Brett King filed DMCA against me! And so, you know, all of a sudden, DMCA is like the worst thing in the world, man. You can't. Ooh, every one of them's a fake one and a false one. You know, fuck her. And she does like fucking with other people's content. You know, like I said, I thought what she did with Venom Fang X was just complete bullshit. I mean, wait till the guy is as down as they come. I mean, he couldn't be any more roadkill. You know, he was as flat as a squirrel can fucking get. And she comes dropping along with six-part video. Let's pile on the squirrel some more. I mean, he's dead and got maggots rocking all over him. And she has to come by and say, let's set him on fire. I mean, fuck you. That was just so fucking putrid. I'm sorry. I want to be honest. I don't think Brett King did DMCA her. I think somebody Brett DMCA her when she was having that sh tiff with Brett King. But she just hates Brett King, so she thinks it's Brett King. Well, Brett King is kind of a sneaky, snarky guy, and I didn't see him say anything like "I didn't do it" in any kind of, you know, "I didn't do it" way. <laughs> he didn't like, you know, that typical like, "Well, possibly, maybe, possibly, not me, possibly, though, or something. Maybe, maybe you have some brain tumor and you think I did it." You know, some kind of bullshit. I just didn't really see any advantage to Brett DMCA in her video. It, there was really nothing there. Yeah, I want to tell you the truth. I don't think Brett would waste his, uh, you know, he's back on YouTube, you know, his life. You know what I'm saying? Why would he fuck around? You know, why would he mess around in getting into something like that when he knows the law, too, in a way? Now, you know, he's not as ignorant as he was, so he knows he's not going to follow through on it. He knows he doesn't, why would, you know what I'm saying? You really want to, you really wouldn't want to mess with something if you got your account back. Why would you want YouTube even to look at you? You want to kind of stay invisible if you can. So, yeah, I mean, there are reasons to think he didn't do it, but it doesn't matter. I just, like I said, I mean, her, she's very myopic on the subject. Don't be uh, PMing me with no fucking links. I got no time for that shit. I'm here doing the stick hammy. I ain't gonna go looking at no fucking links. I smoke cigarettes and I, I talk about fucking trains and that's what I do. But I don't fucking go look at no fucking links. Did you see conferences reports uh, video about Pat Condell's video where he said he supports the um, British Independent Party? Uh, nope. <laughs> he must have made it tonight. <laughs> he wasted all so many videos. I'm, I'm up to whatever one it was. Uh, his fourth for the day or whatever. Yeah, British politics are always interesting. 
Uh, apparently now they got like people who are openly racist running for office and people getting punched in the face. It's, uh, it's really good for British politics, I guess. Yeah, well, I like I like a little bit of reality. You know, people should be pissed off. You know, I mean, people. You know, we need some more pissed off people here. We need some congressmen with black eyes. That's the thing I've always hated about our politics. They're always like, well, my good friend, the opponent from fucking blah de blah. Fuck you, you hate him. Say so much. Don't fucking do this false kindness shit. Well, the guy that got punched in the face, apparently. Sorry, the guy that got punched in the face, apparently, was a member of the BNP, who was a British uh, national something or other. But basically, he was a pretty much outright racist. And one of his campaign managers just went back and fucking wailed the guy right there in Parliament. Yeah, well, I mean, to, you know, I don't know what he did, but, you know, I mean, if somebody says something bad about your mama, I guess you can punch him. But I don't know what he said, you know, it was, your mama's a nigga or something or whatever, I don't know, <laughs> you know. I know what happened, um, the dude who punched the guy for the BNP was the PR guy for the BNP, and B the BNP's being sued by Kraft, the makers of Marmite, because the BNP stole their, um, catchphrase for Marmite, so, without ask, you know. So that's why, you know, the PR guy's shit in his pants. He's like, you fucking asshole, I have enough trouble fucking trying to be the PR guy for a fucking racist party, and now you gotta fucking do this shit to me? Uh, that just sounds funny the way you explain it, but, you know, <laughs> you know, we'll make you into Marmite. I mean, what kind of catchphrase could they, you know, they stole their catchphrase. What Marmite's was their catchphrase? catchphrase is, catchphrase. you either love us or you hate us. Oh, fuck, yeah, that's brilliant. Ah, uh, jeez. Of all the things you could punch a guy in the face for, you don't punch a guy in, in the face for being racist. You punch a guy in the face for screwing up your campaign and your public relations advocacy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's a member of the BNP, so he believes the, the stupid shit they believe. Yeah, well, uh, there's assholes everywhere. I freaking told you people. You gotta knock that off, fucking whatever Unabomber guy. <laughs> that was really annoying. You know, some kind of new trick. He's figured out how to stop the FBI from listening to his house, and so there's all kinds of squeaky noises coming out of his house to stop the FBI. Oh, come on, go get a life there, fathead. Come on. No, this ain't the music room. Sorry, you got it wrong. Come on, come on. Off, off you go. Shoot, shoot. Shoo, no motorcycles in here, fella. No plastic ones. No Tonka toys. There you, there you, mama, baby. Nothing, nothing, nothing for you to play with here. Come on. Toddle off. Come on. Come on. Toddle. Toddle, toddle. Jeez, it took me a while. I kicked them and it took, like, forever. Fucking fucker. No, Dusty, you can't talk. Or whatever you're doing. I guess you were just disappearing. You're waving your hands. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah, well, what do you want? Yes, I think your blue cigarette is really cool. Come on, Rocky guy, why ain't you e smoking? Come on. It works, I'm telling you, it works. I'm too broke right now, man. I can't afford the shit. I can't even afford the fucking cigarettes I have right now. Oh my yeah, God, well, I, 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 I'm really rich now, so I could I could probably buy you some now, so I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't paying no more cigarette taxes. <laughs> so I'm rolling in dough. But I suggest crack. It's cheaper than cigarettes. Come on, girly. <laughs> it really doesn't work, the music thing. Go to the We Is Playing Music and looking blankly into the fucking camera room. It's called Blank Cam. Blank Cam. Yeah, that's a cool room, Blank Cam. Oh, Zom gets us in here early again. I guess you gotta go to work. Oh, she has good, nice Vibo, a Vibo laptop. <laughs> yeah, it does both. Yeah, it's got a built-in vibrator. Yeah, it's good. Deleronic. Made by Deleronic. <laughs> no.